Hey, what's up guys? Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. Today we're doing a Lightroom tutorial and specifically we're talking about the workflow of round tripping an image from Lightroom to Photoshop and then back to Lightroom again. Now, apparently at some point in Lightroom CC, Adobe have made some changes to this process. They don't seem to have told anyone though, and their own online documentation still lists the old way of doing it. But quite by accident, I stumbled across some new features and that's what I'm here to show you guys today. So to start with, you would get an image, go to the develop module, apply some settings in here. And then if there was something you needed to change in Photoshop using more powerful tools there, for example, removing this lens flare in this image would be much easier in Photoshop. You would right click on the image, go to edit in and go to edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. Now at this point, this is gonna open the image in Lightroom and this is a raw photo in this example, but so it's gonna to have to do the develop to that raw photo and open it in a file type that you have specified previously. So if we come up to Lightroom, Preferences, and External Editing here, here you have your choice on how that RAW file is going to be opened in Photoshop. So here you can see I have defined it uh, as a Photoshop document, PSD. You can choose either a PSD or a TIFF. You can choose the color space, bit depth, and the resolution. So all of that you will already have set. These are actually, I think, the default settings, but perhaps you've edited those already. So when we go Edit in Photoshop, we're gonna open up a PSD document in my case because that's what we had set in those settings. Now at this point, let's just open up Photoshop here. There we go. Um, so here we have our image. And at this point you might, um, let's do an edit in here. I'm just going to take out this lens flare there with a content aware fill. Um, so now we've changed something in Photoshop and we need to save that. So we normally would go Command S. Now doing Command S, applies the um, change of file name, which is also specified in that little menu that we talked about before. And you can see that it's a PSD file. So that's what we were expecting. And if we go back to Lightroom, the process is that it now stacks that edited image with the original image. So here's our raw file. And here is the edited Photoshop document. You can see it's stacked. We can close that stack. We've got two images in the stack. That's great. That's always existed. That functionality has always been like that. But this next thing I'm going to show you is different. So what if you wanted to make a different edit to that same image? So let's open up Photoshop again. Let's say, uh, let's say we wanted to do a different removal of that lens flare. So I'm going to actually uh, use the healing brush instead. So let's do this. And instead of content aware fill, we'll take out this with the healing brush. So this is slightly different. Um, it looks a little bit different, but let's say that you aren't quite sure yet which version version you like. Now you want to save that again. If I hit command S now, we're saving the same document as before, and it's going to overwrite that previous version. So what you want to do is command shift S, control shift S on the PC and do save as. Now, when you do that previously, this next image would not be synced back into the Lightroom catalog. Okay, so um, here we're gonna do, let's call this edit two, and we're gonna leave it as a Photoshop document and hit return to save that. So previously, if you did this, you would then have to come into Lightroom and you would have to manually find that folder that the photo was in, right click on it and use the sync command because you've changed the file name and Lightroom wasn't able to recognize where that had gone. As you can see now though, at some point Adobe have updated this and we can now bring in multiple edits. So here you can see edit number two and we have three stacked images now. Okay, so this is great. We can now make as many different changes and versions of an edit that we like and it will sync them all back there. So let's do something a little bit more extreme and we'll also change the file type. So let's do uh, black and white uh, conversion. Let's just play with this, that'll do. Um, so this time we're gonna do Command Shift S to go save as. This time we're gonna change the file name to BW to indicate the black and white one. We're also gonna change this to a TIFF and then hit save. Just click OK there, including layers, that's fine. And now if we come back into Lightroom again, it'll take a second, it's a large file there. So any second now, this will pop up and we'll actually have, there we go, four images. So there is our new black and white edit. This one is a TIFF. These previous ones were PSD files. So 
This functionality didn't exist before. Anytime you made a different copy, you had to come in here, uh, either manually import that extra copy or use the sync function. But now we can use the save as command and we can make as many different copies as we like. We can change the file name, we can change the file type and Lightroom automatically syncs them back in and stacks them with that original file. So this is awesome. One thing I do wanna point out though, is that another way you might consider creating a different edit, if we come back to the original image here, Another way you might consider doing it is by going image duplicate. Now, if you create a duplicate image, let's do that. So here we have a duplicate image. It says copy up here. Um, if you make edits to this one and save this file, so I'm just gonna hit save right now. It brings up the save as menu. Uh, we're gonna call this one um, duplicate. What you're going to see is that this one does not auto import into Lightroom. So this one doesn't show up. So that's the important thing here to remember is that if you're going to make a different edit of your image in Lightroom, you need to use the save as command to create that new file. If you create a duplicate and then save that one, that will not auto import into Lightroom. I don't know why that is. Perhaps they just wanted to maintain some way to still uh, create and edit, but not have it auto sync back into the library. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's not really a problem though, as long as you remember the exact thing I just showed you there. Don't use the duplicate command, just do save as every time you need to create a new version of your file, and they will all sync happily into your catalog, stacked up neatly with the original file. So there we go. I think it's actually a really awesome update for those people that are using Lightroom and Photoshop together all of the time. Uh, I don't know why Adobe haven't informed people about this. I couldn't find anything else, so I wanted to make you guys this video, and hopefully you find that as useful as I do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.